Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wolfie again, and I am here to talk about a subject that is very important. A clip is a device used to load a magazine, and a magazine is a device or holding area where ammunition is fed into the chamber of a firearm. This is a visual representation of the difference between magazines and clips. This is a very important topic regarding Halo and many video games in general because the terminology is often misused. Within the custom game settings of Master Chief Collection, you can change things to have bottomless quote unquote clips. In any of the games that support Forge Mode, you are allowed to manipulate the amount of ammunition in the gun, but it still says spare clips instead of spare magazines, even for weapons that clearly have magazines. This is true even in Halo 5, even though some people have told me otherwise. Let's take a look at some of the games and their individual weapons that clearly have magazines and not clips. And then we'll discuss maybe some weapons that are a little bit unusual that don't really fall into either category. The assault rifle, for instance, in every single Halo game is clearly magazine fed. I could go on and on showing each individual weapon, but I believe that would be a little bit uh, tedious and boring and unnecessary. I think you get the idea. There are some weapons that fall into strange categories. Most of the Covenant weapons, including the plasma weapons, are in fact battery operated, and therefore they do not have an actual magazine or a clip, and most of the time it's some unusual ammo source that the game specifically says that it doesn't fully understand. This is why certain weapons in the series overheat rather than reload. Some Covenant weapons, such as the Carbine and the Spiker, do actually have magazines. The Mauler functions like a revolver with a cylinder, but since it's detachable, it's sort of a magazine. It's kind of debatable if that's exactly what they intended or not. There are also other drum-fed magazines, such as the saw and the concussion rifle. The concussion rifle actually functions very similar to the Mauler in its design. The shotgun is a unique situation in which each individual shell is loaded into the magazine. The anatomy of a shotgun being that the magazine is actually the tube in which the shells are inserted and stored. The new Bulldog shotgun in Halo Infinite is going to have a drum-fed magazine, so it's a little bit different. There are a couple of weapons in the series that do indeed have what could be considered clips, such as the fuel rod guns. The melee weapons such as the sword and the hammer function on a energy basis similar to the plasma weapons, so they don't have magazines or clips either. The brute shot is a little bit different in that it has a bandolier of grenades which don't quite fit into any category, so they're its own thing. The needler also has an unusual ammo source in which you can't really say that it's a magazine or a clip either, so I don't even know how to classify the needler. Oops. 
One final point worth making is that the Promethean weapons tend to work similar to a human weapon in that they have magazines as well. And it wouldn't be so bad if they just plain got it wrong and called all clips magazines and magazines clips and that sort of thing, but they use the two terms interchangeably, even in dialogue. Excellent! Need a new mic! Getting a fresh clip. Just some additions I've made. Indeed. The main thing I want you to take away from this video is that almost all the weapons in Halo that use ammunition of any kind use magazines and not clips. There are a few weapons that do use clips. There are a few weapons that are breech loaders. There are a few weapons that are energy based. And there are a few oddball weapons. But for the most part, it's all magazines. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned a little bit today. Uh, I hope Halo Infinite is able to fix this problem and not say bottomless clip when discussing the different ways that the uh, ammunition is calculated into the game. And I hope that they don't use any phrasing that is mixed up because for a game series that is so focused on the minutia of what makes weapons work, what makes ships work, the sci-fi technological stuff related to everything, it's kind of not logical for them to get such a simple thing wrong consistently. Most people wouldn't think this is such a big deal except for the fact that the game series prizes itself in its accuracy of terminology. And yet this is still a term that is misused quite often, so hopefully they'll fix that for Halo Infinite. Anyway guys, peace out, love you guys, this has been Mr. Wolfie. Mom? That will be all, George.